Starting at 5 with breaking news, the Southwest continues to cancel hundreds of flights, leaving thousands of travelers stranded. It is happening here in Chicago and across the country. We have team coverage on the cancellations. WGN's Dana Rebick joins us with our first coverage live at Midway Airport with more on the holiday travel nightmare. Dana. Good evening, Jackie and Ray. Well, if there was ever a test of someone's patience, this multi-day gauntlet here at Midway is certainly uh, what is what people are dealing with. Given all the circumstances, they are handling things extremely well, waiting in line for hours on end, day after day. And then down here below me, this is the baggage claim area. Uh, folks who are having to walk through here and try to locate their lost luggage. Now, passengers down here, this has been a bit more organized today. Day. They are waiting in a line and one by one allowed to walk their way through here. And then if they do find their bag, show their claim ticket or ID to take that bag with them. A lot of work actually went into organizing this overnight from what we saw here yesterday. These suitcases are now separated into groups with placards posted indicating what city they came from. But some tell us they have been through this line multiple times and still cannot find their bags, even though when uh, employees Employees here scan those claim tags. It says they are here somewhere at Midway. One woman said she was told there is just such a massive amount of luggage being stored here. There's a hangar on the property. Uh, they, they can't put all of these bags out on the floor yet because there's just simply not enough room for them. Now, as far as cancellations go on flights here at Midway, roughly 245 of them from Southwest Airlines. Those account for all but one of the cancellations at this airport today. The airline announced it would continue operating a reduced schedule and fly about a third of its routes for several days leading up to the new year. One woman we spoke with was supposed to fly to Denver last Wednesday and has been stuck here in Chicago since when that winter storm hit that city. And then at the last minute they said uh, Denver was at a gridlock so we had to get off. And so I spent like days on the phone trying to get rebooked. Finally, we got rebooked for today, so here I am waiting, and hopefully this third time's a charm. Travelers have told us that hotels and rental cars uh, have all been booked for days, so some of them have been staying here at the airport. One woman from Kansas City said she has just had enough of this, and she uh, got a ticket on a Greyhound bus tomorrow to get back home. Live at Midway, Dana Rebic, WGN News. All right, Dana, thank you. We are seeing a similar picture of unclaimed baggage piling up at airports around the country. Senators and union representatives are speaking out. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is also promising to weigh in. Gives you hives looking at all of that. WGN's Christine Flores has the reaction from our newsroom now, Christine. Oh, Rain Jackie, as the number of people stranded in airports across the country grow, so is the pressure being placed on airlines to get people to their destinations. At the top of the list with growing concerns is Southwest. Some senators and union representatives say these situations and these issues with the airline could have been avoided. Denver, followed by Chicago's Midway Airport, Baltimore, Washington International, Harry Reid Airport in Las Vegas, Dallas Love Field, and Nashville International Airports are the most affected by today's cancellations, majority of them seen through Southwest Airlines. This then leading to a snowball effect of stranded passengers and misplaced luggage across the country. The passenger who took this video at Baltimore, Washington International says she received her luggage 60 hours and 15 minutes minutes after taking this video of the long baggage service line, adding that she is one of the lucky people who actually left with her suitcase. In a tweet Monday evening, the U.S. Department of Transportation announced it would examine whether cancellations were controllable and if Southwest is complying with its customer service plan, calling it a, quote, unacceptable level of disruption. Mike Santoro, vice president of the Southwest Airlines Pilot Association, tweeted, we are tired of apologizing for Southwest. Southwest. Our hearts go out to all of the passengers. In an interview with CNN, Santoro said the disruptions are the worst he's seen in 16 years at the airline. Aside from the weather conditions, he pointed to the vastly outdated IT infrastructure, which is echoed by Lynn Montgomery, president of the Transport Workers Union of Southwest Airlines flight attendants. We need to modernize the way that flight attendants 
and crew have to communicate with crew scheduling. Basically, flight attendants have been on hold, um, you know, up to 17 hours. We've had flight attendants sending us their, their hold times, and we've had anywhere from three to 17 hours. And so when you can't get in touch with crew scheduling, you cannot make your reassignments. You can't tell them that you're going to go illegal. So we need to modernize that system. Senators Edward Markey of Massachusetts and Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut are calling on the airline to compensate passengers for what they're calling avoidable holiday cancellations. In a statement, they wrote, the company can start by fairly compensating passengers whose flights were canceled, including not only rebooked tickets, ticket refunds, and hotel meal and transportation reimbursement, but significant monetary compensation for the disruption to their holiday plans. Southwest is planning to issue a $428 million dividend next year. The company can afford to do right by by the consumers it has harmed. The company apologized through a statement on their website. The senior director of Southwest Airlines, Jay McVeigh, says the company is doing their best to get things back up and running. This is the main focus right now is to try to take care of our customers as quickly as we can and get them out of this line and with their loved ones or somewhere where they can get some rest. Amy Pritzker said, quote, I am closely following the ongoing challenges consumers are dealing with regarding their canceled Southwest flights. I have spoken with Secretary Buttigieg to express the frustration of the thousands of Illinoisans who have been stranded and missed out on quality time with their family. Now, experts say the earliest passengers may be able to rebook is December 31st, but even then, passengers remain skeptical about being able to fly out. In a tweet, President Biden said his administration is working to ensure airlines are held accountable. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, Christine Flores, WGN News.